Hey everyone, what's up? Here's the side from SEO Unleashed with Yash, and in this video, I'm gonna go and share what exactly you will need to do uh, in order to, you know, rank your Google Business profile, aka Google My Business. I know I haven't, I haven't been really active on YouTube since last one month or so, but I promise I will be, you know, coming up with really, really good content on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Now let's start with the video. First thing here's uh you know kind of an overview of the video on what exactly we'll be discussing and i am assuming you have already done all the basic stuff for instance you know correct category and you know all these uh, other stuff for instance you know description and all those things because basics are the foundation we cannot just overlook them uh in this video we'll be seeing a bit of advanced stuff uh you know uh, that that people are not really talking about and yeah one and two of this is really something that people are just ignoring so yeah let's start this video first thing we'll be you know kind of cutting this video off into two parts on page seo and off page seo not really off page i would rather say you know first thing would be focused more towards website second would be focused towards more gmb now let's start with the video the very first thing is keywords okay see there's a section in your gmb profile okay if you see this thing here where uh, okay not just there if you just click on edit profile and you will see a section of your so you know google actually pulls a lot of information from that particular uh, you know website section for instance here okay so for instance this is the url we have added and this is exactly the url so google is you know pulling out a lot of data from this particular url so we want to make sure that this particular page is really really good optimized so when i say optimized what i exactly mean is first thing there's keywords in this page you know that signifies and that represents that this particular page is all about you know garage repair or you know garage or installation opener and all those things anything that relates with garage door and the services we are providing so if you see the h1 richmond hill garage or repair that's our primary h1 and that is all about uh you know the page right and that that's the primary term term we want to rank for okay the, that's the very first thing the second one is if you see why i trust topic service group for garage re repair in richmond hill again we have injected our you know our keywords into that the next one is again you know about topic service richmond hill garage Repair company and tons of that i'm not saying that you will need to you know kind of uh have keywords in each of your headings not at all but i would say you know it would really depend upon how much content you have on your page okay so make sure that you are having keywords in your, uh, you know, in the first 50 or 100 words. For instance, if you see professional garage repair in Richmond Hill. So we have, we do have our primary term or, you know, primary keyword within our, you know, first uh, 30 or 50 words. Okay. Make sure you do have that. Not just that, you will need to, you know, have the keywords throughout the, uh, you know, page. Okay. For instance, if you see, again, garage repair in Richmond Hill, you know tons of uh, you know uh, places we have put our keywords into that's the first thing the next one if you see is title and what i mean by title is you know headers so heading one heading two heading three so what i usually uh you know use is uh, with H h1 i do have my main or primary keyword into that for instance you know garage or repair okay with h2s i do have my primary keyword into that as well but not that frequently i mean you know let's say i'm using uh, you know 10 h2s in a page i'll probably be using you know uh, my primary term into you know three or maybe maximum four or five you know uh, uh, headers okay then it comes to h3 what i kind of uh, use is uh you know i do have a header as our services in this particular area and then i list all the services as h3s okay and then i will link to those service pages or uh, you know uh, I could show you exactly what I mean if you see this these are all h3s okay and then I am linking to their separate service pages okay so this is how I am doing and this is again a really good way and this is how, how I am doing for all of my clients so this is the thing the next one schema no one is actually talking about this so first of all let me exactly tell you what schema is schema is kind of a code that you uh, you know place on your uh, you know place on your website and that actually helps google to uh, interpret the website in a better form okay and now people will be saying that yes this is not ranking factor and all those nonsense right but believe me when i say it, a schema actually helps okay schema is not something that will you know just get you or you know get to ranking overnight it's not something like that but it certainly 
kind of a fuel that will help you you know push your uh, you know rankings so uh, you know for instance most of the websites you will analyze will have very very basic schema but if you see this is one of our client and if you see the schema and the details we have put in okay a lot of stuff a lot okay now for this you can just refer to my last video where i exactly show you how you can you know uh, have a great schema for your web page for your website and all those things but again if you want to you know have a look at how exactly i do that you can use a tool named as upschema this is a pay tool this costs mainly 50 60 bucks a month and yeah this is a great tool okay just go into get access now and just you know it's 57 bucks a month that's pretty cheap right so you know just use that tool and refer to my last video you will exactly uh, see how you can create a great schema for your own website and in case you need a help uh, you know uh, in creating a schema for your website feel free to you know book a call with me and we'll exactly go on in, you know into the details of it okay that's the thing okay now let's come into the gmb part okay and what are the stuff that you will need to do in gmb you know to exactly get some rankings now reviews this is big big and super big okay so if i could just you know sum up the rankings of gmb i would say you know 50 percentage or so uh it would just depend upon you know reviews okay so uh, let's say you have a super optimized landing page you have a great looking website and you know you have done really good citations and all those things but you you have literally zero or let's say your competitors are having 100 reviews and you're having five or ten okay in that case you may rank in a 0 0.5 mile radius one mile radius in a, or so but you know if if we consider the real you know real deal you won't be anywhere okay and i do mean that so reviews are super big thing you cannot just ignore them you will need you know to focus on them as well for reviews what i do is you know kind of have a business cards like this let me exactly sh show you what i mean by that so uh you know business cards with review qr code in it uh and you know just handle that to our clients okay uh we do you know we do uh ship them physically to their address and then my clients could just you know uh you know share them with their own customers it will look something like this oh uh, just a sec and yeah you can just you know order this from any local shop or you know local printing agency and that sort of stuff uh you don't really have to you know uh, get this from any brand or so okay for instance this one okay if you see we are having a qr code here and what this qr code is when any of your or uh, any of your customers will scan this qr code that will just lead them to a review or you know to their uh to your google my business review page okay this helps your clients to leave a review very very easily and you know i've seen this uh you know when we used to just do you know automated emails or messaging campaigns we were getting reviews but not at the quantity that we uh, you know actually wanted and when we started this it actually amped up uh you know the review campaign a lot and i do mean a lot okay so uh i would say make sure you're using this if you are you know actually trying to uh, you know do seo and this is really really good thing the next one is services in the gmb okay so uh you ha you do have a section of services in the gmb when you just you know go to your gmb profile it will look something like this and when you click on edit services this will uh this is something that uh you know uh, you will see okay then click on add more services and see what are some of the services google is actually you know kind of auto suggesting you okay so uh if you see here customer support we can just click on that and what i want what i wanted to show you is you will see much more services in many cases in in some cases you may see almost zero of them okay but I, what i want is uh if you are seeing some of the uh, you know services suggested by google make sure you're adding them if they are relevant and this actually helps you know i did some sort of, some sort of experimentation with this and i actually saw boost uh you know by just adding them okay just click on save that's it now the next one citations so citations are kind of you know uh listing your business or you know adding your name address and phone number into directories and uh, you know business directories niche directories and all those things okay so 
to uh you know for uh for getting citations what i do is i kind of drip feed them each month so kind of you know start with 100 citations uh first month and then you know go up to 50 um 50 the next month and you know kind of like that so i don't do you know uh, just 500 uh, in a you know in a month so i do kind of drip feed that and it actually i i have seen that you know it, it's actually helping a lot okay so for citations you could just order them through legit.com or you know fiverr.com or any other sources but you know uh what what's gonna happen is they are having a list of uh, you know uh, directories where they will be listing you okay but i want what but i want uh but i want you you know to get listed on the directories your competitors are, uh, competitors are already listed so for that uh you know you will need tools like citation builder pro or you know white spark and that sort of stuff and you will need to find out what are some of the directories where your competitors are listed okay that's how we do citations for our uh, clients okay you can you can also just uh, you know uh, hire us to do that it's totally up on you or you can just go on fiverr and you know hire someone for some cheap uh, cost okay it's totally up on you you can also do that uh, manually if you want to do so just go on google and search for you know let's say you are in the united states just search for us business directories list okay something like that and you will see tons of directories okay just click on let's say you know top 30 business directories and boom you got you listed on 30 business directories you know right away but it's definitely some time consuming so i would suggest you know to kind of hire someone to do this for you now the last one being active it involves you know review replies image posting and gmb post again i have said this again and again no matter you know uh, how good your seo ha seo is or you know how good you have done seo on your website and all those things you will need to be you know some sort of active when it comes to your google business profile uh, you know jamie post might not really help with seo but it would definitely help you to get some extra clicks okay and jamie po you'll see some places where jamie post are popping up okay so uh, make sure you're you know kind of focusing on that just not not just that but rather you know add photos and all that sort of stuff uh you know uh, if a customer is actually seeing some really good photos of your business they're more likely to click on your listing and you know book a call with your you know call you instead of your competitor so it's definitely something that's helping with conversion rate optimization if not necessarily with seo okay not just that but you know review replies and all those things okay so this was uh you know all about gmbc tutorial and uh you know how you can ac actually rank your gmb uh once you have done all the basic stuff okay this was some sort of advanced stuff uh once you have you know completed all the basic stuff now you can focus on these okay i hope you liked the video let me know how it was in the comment section and if you have any questions feel free to ask that in the comment section and yeah one uh, once again and if you're looking for someone you know who actually knows this you and all those things feel free to book a call with me and, you know, I love to hear, uh, you know, how I can help your business. Bye-bye.